RedWingsBaseball.com coming to you from Twins Fest. We're kind of wrapping up our coverage today, and we're going to do it with a uniquely Minnesota touch. We're standing here with Twins pitcher Glenn Perkins, uh, Stillwater High School here in uh, the Minneapolis area, University of Minnesota. We got locked in the other night, or locked out, and we were walking around upstairs, and we saw your picture on the wall, the Wall of Fame thing upstairs here at the Metrodome. Wow, you know, I didn't even, they, they didn't invite me to that one. Uh, you know, I, I guess uh, I had some good years, you know, at Stillwater, and then at the U, too, so... Uh, you know, it's, it's awesome to come back and, and, and continue to play here. I mean, it's just, I've never known anything else than playing for playing for Minnesota teams and, and, and in this state, so I love it and, and wouldn't have it any other way. Did you ever come to Twins Fest as a kid? You must have, right? Yeah, you know what, I think I did maybe a couple times. This is actually, the Gophers do this thing, and, and so I've been coming here for like eight or nine years, so I feel like, uh, I think me and Cuddy have been here the most if you, if you count my time with the Gophers, so I think, uh, you know, he missed this year because he was six. So I think I overtook the uh, Twins Fest Veteran Award from him. You have a growing family yourself, two beautiful daughters now, right? You and your wife. Have you taken uh, either of your kids to Twins Fest yet? Uh, yeah, you know what? I don't. They didn't make it this week, but last the last two years, Addie's been up here both times. Uh, she, I think uh, she didn't get there this year, but she'll probably come next year and she'll actually enjoy it. I think she'll get you know some of the stuff that they do, some of the stuff they have for kids here. I think she'll really enjoy. So we'll uh, we'll definitely try to get her out next year. We're going to change the tone of the interview right now and uh, take you into some Minnesota content in a segment that I now call deep inside Red Wings baseball with Glenn Perkins. Glenn, the movie Fargo. Minnesota locales. Have you seen that movie? Far well, Fargo's North Dakota. so But a lot of Minnesota settings in that movie. Yeah, Have you, you know seen what? it? And how accurate does it depict your fellow state <laughs> residents here in Minnesota? It's just like Miracle where I think they exaggerated and everything. Uh, you know, they had uh, the guy, the guy uh, I, don't, I forget his name now, that was in Miracle, the hockey movie. Mm -hmm. And with the accent and, and the nose and, and the things like that. But you know what, I mean, it, it's pretty close. I mean, it's cold, and I, I think this year's been more like that movie Fargo than, than a lot of years past. It got a little colder, so I think, uh, you know, it's exaggerated, but, it, you know, it, it's probably pretty much right on the money. Glenn Perkins says the movie Fargo is pretty much on the money in terms of how it portrays Minnesotans. Did I pronounce that correctly? Minnesotans. Minnesotans. Minnesota is known as the land of 10,000 lakes. The actual number is 8,000, 12,000, or 15,000. It's, I think it's, it, it might even be more than 15. Uh, I think, I think it, they, could, they could change it. Um, 15,000. Yeah, so I, 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 I knew that it was at least that. Mayowood Mansion was the actual home of which Mayo brother, Charles or William? Wow. I, I'm going to have to just guess and say William. Charles. He guessed. <laughs> he guessed William. It was Charles Mayo, the greatest Minnesota professional wrestler. Kurt Hennig, Mr. Perfect, or Jesse the Body Ventura? Jesse the Body. I mean, he was governor too, right? Mm -hmm. so. yes, right. yes, he was the governor. Can't argue with that. Your favorite state nickname? There are several state nicknames: Land of Ten Thousand Lakes, the Gopher State, the Land of Sky Blue Water. And Star of the North. What is your favorite Minnesota state nickname? The Gopher State. I was a Gopher, so you got to go with that. I mean, we, we, the, the North Stars, now that they moved, I think that they might have to get rid of that one. What is your nickname in the clubhouse? Perk. Easy enough. P E R K, Perk. Juicy Lucy. When is the last time you had a Juicy Lucy burger? I had, well, Juicy Lucy is in the one in Fort Myers. There's like an actual Juicy Lucy restaurant, but I had. Tell me about it. I, I've never been there. That's mm -hmm. what I was going to say. But there's, uh, they make them. I, I forget where I was. It wasn't too long ago, actually. Mm -hmm. Maybe three weeks ago, I had one. Describe the Juicy Lucy burger for us, if you will. Did that? Is that? Did they come from Minnesota? Is that why you're asking me? I have no idea. Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I, as far as I know, it's a burger with cheese stuffed inside of it instead of sitting on top. Mm. Molten, gooey, ooey, gooey cheese inside a burger. The Juicy Lucy. Now you know a little bit more about the state of Minnesota from a Minnesotan, Glenn Perkins. Glenn, thanks for joining us on Deep Inside Red Wings Baseball. Good luck to you this season. Thank you.